Uh, oh, okay, Vlad. Oh, no, don't leave. We need you. Um, okay, so first kiss. Yes. And then now, can we woohoo and try for a baby? Ravenna, we need you to be pregnant. Welcome back to another episode of the History of Windenburg. So it is going to be an interesting episode. Uh, we have several things we're going to be doing. I did mention in the last episode that because there, so they had two daughters in the last episode. They had Princess Elizabeth and they had Princess Reina. And I mentioned in the last episode because Princess Reina, she is a vampire. Um, we have Ravenna who is plotting to kill her because she's worried that, well, first of all, I think that she might have been showing her, I don't know how that like works on a child, but like she might've been showing signs of being a vampire, but that's what I was thinking was happening. And then of course we have Ravenna who doesn't want anyone to find out that she's a vampire because before she's like in power, if she has everyone thinking and finding out that she's a vampire, suddenly everyone's gonna turn on her and try to kill her. So she doesn't want people to know that she's a vampire at all. A couple things from the last episode and that people had mentioned in the comments. So I had mentioned Arthur and I asked if you guys think that he should be Henry's brother. Cause when I was playing this on my own, I was playing the exact same thing pretty much, but like I didn't have Arthur and Henry be brothers, but a lot of people thought that would be a very interesting twist. So we're gonna do that. Another thing people had mentioned, which I did not know, apparently, because like a lot of this, I'm super interested in King Henry VIII. Like that whole story and like Anne Boleyn and everything always fascinated me. But I completely forgot that Arthur was Henry's brother, was King Henry's brother. And that was who Catherine was married to before she married King Henry VIII. So it worked out great. I totally forgot. Did I know that at the time? I don't remember. I don't think I had realized that, but yeah. so. It works out okay. Also, I did change some features on Ravetta's face because I had to remake her because I didn't have any of them saved to the gallery. I actually didn't know the gallery was a thing until like I started my channel. So I had to remake Ravenna and everybody, but I did it, like I changed her features more to what I think they were before, like the first time I had made her. Cause I found another picture, cause I, I was basing this off of the portrait and found another picture. So if she looks different, then that's why. But yeah, so in this episode, we're also gonna meet Arthur, but so we have to do this thing with Reyna. I think that Ravenna would wait until nighttime when everyone's asleep. So let me change it to nighttime real quick. Okay, so now it's 11, almost 12 AM. It's late. I am going to have the, well, they have a butler now, but I guess we should put the kiddos to bed. So let's imagine the nanny is doing that. We have baby Reyna here, but let's put toddler to bed. So we're gonna put Princess Elizabeth to bed. I also had mentioned that I didn't remember one of the future daughters named and people had said that it's Mary because of a picture that's in the old Windenburg palace. And that sounds about right. It's funny too, because King Henry's daughters, they were Elizabeth and Mary. I know for a fact that when I played this, the first daughter was not named Elizabeth, but it worked out well in the end. So we'll just keep it as Elizabeth. Okay, so he's putting Elizabeth to bed now. She's getting tucked in. I'm going to have them go to sleep. So let's go, go here, go to sleep. Same thing with Ravenna. Ravenna's gonna like fake sleep. So their relationship is pretty low now too. Whatever relationship forms, just keep in mind, Ravenna doesn't it like feel this way about Henry at all. This would be more one-sided, but how Henry and Caroline, how they were arguing a lot when Caroline, how they weren't able to have kids when he was married to Caroline, I had mentioned that they were arguing a lot. So I think now Henry is starting to argue with Ravenna a lot. I think Ravenna knew this was gonna happen, but for her plan to work, she does need to have sons, but we'll get to that in a minute. Ravenna, what are you doing? All right, Ravenna, fake, fake your sleeping. Oh, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't pick out pajamas for her. Now she looks a little bit weird. I swear I had picked out like a robe or something, but apparently not. Okay, Ravenna is up. Oh no, she's feeling inspired. She has her idea. All right, so she knows what she's gonna do. So go here. So I'm gonna use MC Command Center to do this, but yeah, Ravenna is really forming no emotional attachment with her kids. She has a strong hatred for Henry. She's doing what she thinks needs to be done. She doesn't want people to find out she's a vampire and having 
their daughter be a vampire. Like, I think 100% if they found out their daughter was a vampire, I know for a fact Henry would blame that on Ravenna and then they would find out. So she's doing what she needs to do to get it done. So we'll say she's using her vampire powers to do this to make it look like maybe she had some sort of like heart failure or something like that. So we're gonna use MC Command Center, uh, maintain sim, kill sim. All right, what would be similar to this? Um, death by poison. I mean, technically she's poisoning her with her powers. Maybe she does poison her. Well, no, I don't think she would because then I think that people would easily find out if they found out that their child died by poison. But poison is the closest thing I think we're gonna get here. So we'll say that she's using her powers to make it look like she stopped breathing or something like that in her sleep. So it doesn't look like someone else did it, that it was an accident. So we're, we're gonna do death by poison. Okay, all right. Oh, oh, okay. We don't have to see anything. Does it just happen? Oh, right. Okay, so no urn. Oh, okay. No urn actually appears. Also, she has no moodlet. What's also she's playing with clay now. Um, she has no moodlet whatsoever. She felt nothing when she did that, but it looks like nothing's appearing for the others as well. That it just like disappears because for toddler and child, since without MC Command Center, I don't think they can die in the game. So there's no. Actually, I don't know about child, but for toddler, they can't actually die in the game without any cheats. So there's no grave or urn that appears for them. And to be honest, Henry doesn't have that much of an emotional attachment with his kids either. And Elizabeth might be a little too young to notice. So I guess it kind of works out. I mean, obviously I think Henry would be pretty shocked and I think they would have a funeral as well. However, I don't have an urn or anything for them to mourn. So we'll say they have a funeral. Okay, yeah, so le let's say she does this. We're, we're gonna have time pass a little bit and then they had a funeral their kingdom was mourning for the death of the young princess meanwhile Henry is still getting aggravated that he doesn't have a son yet all right so now we'll say about a month has passed okay I don't something's happening here it's probably because I fast forwarded the time she keeps getting inspired over and over again that's fine but now we're going to take a trip we're gonna go see Vlad we didn't get to see Vlad in the last episode all right so we are at Vlad mansion now we're going to have Ravenna talk to Vlad because now she's stumped and she's talking about how like she needs to provide a son for Henry and she doesn't know how so they need to draft a plan so somehow I think Vlad knows about Henry's brother I think think that Arthur would be the younger brother and he's always kind of been cheated out of everything he wants because of Henry. Now, I don't know if he would have actually led one of the armies because if, if that were the case, like that's kind of the whole reason why Ravenna hates Henry so much is because he was the one who led the army to completely destroy her town and her family and everyone she loves. Maybe Henry and Arthur, they had some sort of falling out. Henry said that no, he wasn't allowed to be in the army or something. I'm trying to think of some reason why he wouldn't have been there. Ultimately though, Arthur hates his brother. Him and Henry have a very, very negative relationship. Yeah, they got a negative relationship. This is Arthur, we're gonna meet him soon. So Vlad, being the all-knowing vampire that he is, says that they can find Arthur and propose a plan and saying to Arthur that they can make him king if he agrees to have children with Ravenna and they have to pretend that it is Henry's children and no one else can know except for them. So everyone has to think that the children they have is Henry's children, but they need to have a son. Once they have several heirs, I, I think that Henry would want several sons, then they can continue with their plan. So I'll, I'll tell you the rest as we um, go see him. So it's getting pretty late. I think they can go travel now. All right, so I have Henry live, or not Henry, oh gosh. I have Arthur living here. So we're gonna go travel to him. We're gonna bring Vlad. But yeah, I figured he would live like on the outskirts of the city of Wittenberg in like a smaller place. Meanwhile, his brother's living the high life in a castle. All the more reason for him to be jealous and want revenge and for him to want to be king as well. So, I mean, he's already outside, but we're gonna knock on the door. Uh, oh, okay, Vlad, oh. Uh, no, don't leave, we need you. Oh no, okay, he's back, he's here, that was weird. Um, oh, I didn't download this from the gallery. This is just one of the ones that come with the world, so just ignore this, because this is very modern. Okay, so we're going to do a respect 
full introduction. He probably knows she's the queen and he's like, why is my brother's wife here? Um, but Vlad needs to be here too, to help explain things. Vlad, can you come here and help? You're very persuasive. Um, oh, describe new idea. Yes, describe your idea. Okay, so we're going to try to somewhat befriend Arthur and then we're going to, oh no, did he leave again? Oh no, he's back. That's how he travels. He doesn't even walk. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, she's explaining the whole thing about how they need to have kids. No one can know that it's Arthur's kids. Everyone else needs to know that it's Henry's kids or think that it's Henry's kids. She's gonna tell him how she plans to kill Henry. And I think he likes that idea. I think he's pretty on board with that idea because of course he doesn't like his brother. He has always wanted to get revenge on his brother, but he doesn't know how. Oh, proposed crazy scheme. Yes, that's perfect. Okay. And then she says that once she kills Henry, that she can marry Arthur. Well, actually, if he's the brother, hmm, I just thought about this because originally I had it so Ravenna becomes queen and she's in power and she agreed to marry Arthur and make him king, but she's the one still in power. But if he's Henry's brother, no, actually, I was gonna say the throne would go to him because he would be technically next in line, but it would actually go to their first son. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm like, I'm going through this and thinking about this as we're playing. So yeah, okay. So then she's saying that she'll agree to marry Henry and that technically he would be king, but Ravenna's probably thinking cause she wants to be the one in power. So I'm sure she has her own plans for that, that she's not going to be telling Arthur. So she's probably manipulating him and lying to him. So he does what they want. So let's see, sir, are you on board? Also, should we just try for a baby here? Probably, they can't go back to the palace. Vlad will just um, hang out while they do that. Are you on board though? So I, I guess we'll have to start flirting with him. So Vlad, I think you're gonna have to exit the conversation here. And we're going to do, let's do flirt. This would probably just be an arrangement. They probably wouldn't be forming a romantic relationship, but to get them to woohoo, I need them to do that. Vlad, we probably don't need Vlad anymore. He was very convincing. I think that Arthur is on board. Okay, all right, Vlad left. It's like, okay, do your thing. Now we're going to flirt. And then also, I'm pretty sure Arthur, I think he has the evil trait. I think he also has the hot-headed trait. They're both evil. For now, I do think she would hide the fact that she's a vampire to Arthur as well. However, though, <laughs> Vlad was just like teleporting right next to them. So maybe he didn't see that. Well, yeah, I, I just, I don't think she would want to willingly tell that information to him too, because she's worried. She doesn't want people to turn against her and try to kill her for being a vampire. Okay, so let's see, can we have first kiss? Can they have their first kiss? Yes, we've got a pretty good romantic relationship. Oh, she definitely just went through the table. That's fine. Um. Okay, so first kiss, yes. And then now can we woohoo and try for a baby? Okay, so they've gotten the romantic relationship up more. Now they're going to woohoo. So we will let them do that in this house. I, I should have downloaded another house that looked more accurate to the time period. So I apologize for that. I'll make sure to do that before the next episode. I just completely forgot about that. But all right, so they're gonna try for a baby and then we will find out if Ravenna is pregnant or not. So they will have to be doing this for the next like four kids. So, well, this is one kid and they had three more kids after this kid. So we're gonna have to keep coming back. Ravenna is gonna have to do this, keep hiding it from Henry and Henry's gonna keep thinking these are his kids. Okay, so they're done. Ravenna is now going to take a pregnancy test. I might save her having the baby for the next episode. So uh, you guys got to meet Arthur in this episode, but we just got to make sure she's pregnant before we end the episode. Let's see Ravenna. This is a very long pregnancy test. Is not pregnant. Well, let's try this again. Okay. Okay. They just woohooed again. So we're going to try this again. <laughs> Ravenna, we need you to be pregnant. What? Um, hello? What, I, okay, it says she's pregnant. <laughs> I wanted to MC pregnancy and it says she's pregnant. I'm hiding the gender of the baby so you guys will find out in the next episode which one she has, like which child is birth. You guys might already know. I'm gonna hide it anyway. I don't know why it's saying she's not pregnant when she is. Um, But anyway, okay, she's pregnant. Pretend that it had the little, you know, like confetti thing that comes out when they find out they're pregnant. But yeah, you guys got to meet Arthur. You guys got to hear their plans. Arthur's pretty much on board. He's like, okay, all we have to do is have kids. I can 
can hide that and then I'm gonna be king. I'm gonna get revenge on my brother. This lady is gonna kill my brother. Like that's what he's wanted to do without getting caught, but he didn't know how. So now someone's gonna do it for him. So he's pretty happy about this and Ravenna is getting what she wants too. Oh, and Ravenna just kicked over his trash can. That's fine, all right. Well, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. In the next episode, we will see Ravenna and Arthur's first child. We'll see if they have a boy or a girl and we'll continue to see Ravenna's evil plans and what happens as well and the other kids that they have and how this is going to go. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!